Well, I've made it to Stratford, and I wonder whether it's tis nobler in the mind to do a 20 runner novice chase, or whether I should let somebody else do this. Three mile, one furlong, four novices. The top one is Amazing Grace. Joshua Sutherland, Nuclear Leon van Rensburg, both of those winners last week. Barolo Viking, Martin Lee on the local horse. Bedtime Stories, Craig Beckwith, Danzig Caramel, Thomas Rogers. Gates of Dawn, Leon van Rensburg, Good Time in Ryan Tamasebi. Horror of the Clams, Joshua Sutherland, Rosini's McCavity, David Hooley, Simonswood, Darren Thompson. Swindy Home, James Shea, Aline, Mike Westwood, Babacore Remittance for Craig Allen, James Rose for John Morgan. Junk in the Trunk Ages, David Robertson, Large Moon. Jim Murray, Pretty Storm, Craig Beckwith, Renvile Prospect, Craig Allen, Syram, Graham Clutterbuck, and Woodlass drummer James Shea. So 20 of them in on this tight Stratford track. Away they go. This could be interesting as they get down to the first and sort themselves out into some sort of racing order. It's a bit of a tall order for these novices, 20 of them. And get a bit rough this one. It's good timing on the outside there just about the lead of James Rose in the blue jacket on the inside it looks like Barolo Viking the locally trained runner who front run last week is going to do the same again they get over the first two quite successfully without too much mishap and all reasonably tidy sort of themselves out as to where they want to be and I would suggest you probably either want to be out of trouble or in the lead but with a field this size it could turn into a bit of a nightmare they're going past the Big screen past the winning post. They've got two complete circuits of this Stratford track to go. No doubt, plenty of unemployed thespians are watching this. Well, they've got nothing to do because there's nobody allowed to go to the theatre at the moment. So, we can watch the racing instead. So, Barolo Vikings in the lead. Horror of the Clowns is second in the black and red hoops as they get over number three. Uh, they're all safely over that one as well. With Danzig Caramel just the back mile. You can see they're still. In a pretty tight formation, really. I'm sure they'll start to spread out as the race progresses. But Barolo Viking is two lengths clear of Horror of the Clowns in second. And James Rose in third as they make their way towards the next one, which is fence number four. And down on its nose there was James Rose. And we've lost one at the back. It's Gates of Dawn. The Gates of Dawn has gone. And that's a real turn up again because... If you're watching the races earlier at Foss Last, where I was earlier on today, and Leon Van Rensburg horses were not jumping well there either, and he had another faller there. So, a bit of a surprise to see the champion trainer's jockey on the deck twice already today at least. And Barolo Viking is in the lead. I guess there'll be some schooling going on down at the Van Rensburg yard this week. And Barolo Viking is in front. Horror of the Clans is second, and Bubba Cora Mins is third. Good time on his four, and then James Rose has dropped back to fifth after that mistake. Then Syram is next. Then Amazing Grace and Pretty Storm Nuclear, the second Van Rensburg horses after that one. Junk in the trunk ages, the Greys in mid divers. They get over that one, and the one that didn't jump it at all well there was Danzig Caramel. But it's still on its feet as they make their way towards the next one then. And Barolo Viking is clear by two over that big ditch. Slow jump again by James Rose, but at least it jumped it. And John Morgan was having problems with his jumpers last season, wasn't he? So we'll be pleased to see that that one is still on its feet as well. So Barolo Vikings in the lead then by two to Horror of the Clown second as they get over number eight. Which looks like they're all safely over. And the cameraman doing his best to get a shot of everybody. We'll probably have to abandon that plan later on in the race. Because I'm pretty sure some of the back are going to get tailed off. There's already a couple that are struggling out of shot. Simon's Wood definitely out of shot. Um, and maybe one or two more as well. So they get over number nine then. And over it they go. There's the back three or four who are toiling away. But it's Barolo Viking coming up the straight in the lead again. The trainer will hope that that one is still there next time round. Although he's probably doubts it, but it's in the lead by about two to Horror of the Clown second, Baba Cora Mittens third and James Rose four and in good time in five and Amazing Grace is six, Nuclear is seven and Pretty Storm is eight, then Bedtime Stories and Rosie and his McCavity and Junk in the Trunk Ages and then Syram and then after that one is Renvile Prospect and Woodlust Drummer Danzig Caramel and then the back four of Simon's Wood, Large Moon, Swindy Home and Arlene as they take that next one which they've all got over safely and they're making their way out there now on this final circuit with Barolo Viking in the lead. Horror of the Clowns second. In good timing. Baba Cora Mittens and James Rose, the second of the Joshua Sutherland horses, just tucked in behind their amazing grace as they get over the 11th. 
And Swindy Home's gone at the back. Swindy Home is a faller there when just about out of shot as they get over the next one. Which they've all got over this time. And Barolo Viking is in the lead by length. Horror of the Clans is poised in second. James Rose is now going well in third. I've been sort of jumping out. Then after that one, Babacora Mittens has been sitting quite. I think that one's having its first run. Then comes Amazing Grace. Good timing is still there as well. Bedtime Stories is creeping a little bit closer. So too is its stable mate. Pretty Storm on the outside. Tucked it on the inside of that one is Rosina's McCarthy. The leader Barolo Viking is now being pushed along to maintain that lead with Horror of the Clans and Jane's Rose poised ready to challenge they're coming down towards the next they've only got five furlongs to the race that's the 13th Barolo Viking jumped it okay in the lead is still in front but being pressed by Jane's Rose and Horror of the Clans Amazing Grace looks to be going well Rosini's McCavity is now swinging around the outside here comes Nuclear looking for a bit of a run as well and they're beginning to bunch up top as they get over the, that ditch and the race is really on in earnest now Siren's going to try and come around the outside Nuclear is the one who's throwing down a big challenge to the leader Barolo Viking though who seems to have beaten off Horror of the Clans Jane's Rose is under pressure they come down towards the second last and it's still Barolo Viking in the lead from Nuclear in second Jane's Rose in third Arlene has gone at the back but it's Barolo Viking in front Nuclear though now coming to press Jane's Rose is in third then Rosina's McCavity Renvile Prospect is trying to run on one or two of these are going to need some room to get through but it's Nuclear who's now burst into the lead it's Nuclear in the lead over the final fence they go Nuclear gets over it went in front Barolo Viking is trying to battle back so too is Renvile Prospect is surely between these and they race into the final furlong it's Nuclear, but Rono Viking is still trying to close. Renvile Prospect now sweeps around the outside. Here comes Rosina's McCavity, but it's Renvile Project in the lead. Renvile Prospect is just about going to take it, I think, from Barolo Viking. And Rosina's McCavity, and up towards it on, it's just Renvile Prospect. Rosina's McCavity, James Rose got back up as well. Barolo Viking stuck on bravely. And Danzig Caramel was the last one to finish. And that was a tight finish in the end and there's a stewards inquiry as well which doesn't surprise me all that much to be honest and they've chucked it out they have thrown it out the winner oh, well Renvile prospect for Craig Allen has been disqualified for causing interference I thought something might happen in this race with it such a big field round Stratford but Rosina's McCavity is awarded the race for David Hooley Amazing Grace second for Joshua Sutherland Nuclear third for Leon van Rensburg Barolo Viking for Martellino was fourth and James Rose for John Morgan was fifth so drama aplenty at Stratford as you would expect <laughs>